Alright people, welcome back to more Vitamin Y. So today is Thursday, and that means we're using Cosmic UL. So I already did a video on Daily Duels explaining the reason why uh, the webcam duel is going to be postponed to next week. I know it's not really a good reason, but it's a convenient reason for me. And, you know, I hope it doesn't inconvenience you guys. You know, just pushing it back like, you know, probably. I'm debating between Monday and Wednesday, but I'm leaning more towards Monday. So, uh, you know, but I'm definitely going to record it. You know, the day that you see this, I will be recording it. So, uh, you know, that should be totally fine. You know, I got my date. So, I will, of course, be telling you guys about that on uh, Friday's Daily Duels, how that went. So, I hope that you guys are looking forward to that. Anyway, uh, now since we got all that business jargon out of the way, let's go ahead and play some Cosmic Key Bell. Let's go ahead and use these Yang Zings, nice and powerful. Uh, did I change the deck around a little bit? I think I did. I think I actually dropped this card down to one. Because it was getting kind of cloggy. Because when my Yang Zings would get in the graveyard, sometimes I wouldn't even want them in the graveyard. You know? You get you get what I'm saying? Like, I want them in my grave. I, I want them in my graveyard because I can revive them back. But then, you know, I don't want to put them back in the deck. Because, you know. So I decided to go ahead and just drop this down to one. And, of course, I drew it. So, there goes that test. <laughs> so my opponent set two back row. 41 card deck. 7 extra deck. What's your rating? It's hard to gauge on how good you are. Should I take it slow or should I push? I think I'll push. Normal summon. Okay. I completely reveal my deck, but I think that pushing might be the right choice in the matter right now. You know. My monsters float, so, you know. The worst thing he could do to me right now is bottomless me, so. Yeah. When this card you control is destroyed by battle by card effect and sent to the graveyard. Alright. So it's not like in your possession, it's you control. So if he would have warned me, I would not get the effect because I technically wouldn't control the monster because it wasn't summoned yet. You know, if it was like in your possession, then I would still get it. You know, it's kind of like Mendoches. And there's some other thing that says in your possession too, but I can't remember. I can't really put my finger on it at the current moment. This card, blah, 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 blah. That's the way you can. Declare one card. You can declare one card attribute. This card becomes that attribute. Uh, uh, using second effect. It's monster with 2400D, right? Yeah. I like how this guy is not even freaking messaging me, you know? A simple N-O or Y-E-S or E-F-F, you know, would simply suffice, but it's pretty clear that you don't want to even do anything. Okay. Okay. Then you know what? I know you're going to tribute that. You're probably going to summon Caius. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and dark hole you now so you had nothing to tribute off of. Yeah. This deck definitely runs the two dark holes. That's, that's probably a given. At this point, you know, I'm still debating on this Yang Zing path just because lately, especially with all the revival I have in the deck, it really doesn't seem too necessary. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get my combo pieces set up. If I want to get my combo pieces set up, it's probably better if I summon Big C. I was thinking about summoning Chi Wen, but Chi Wen really doesn't have anything to do with, you know, my play with. You know, my easy play into, uh, into Baxia. So, we'll go ahead and go into Bixie, and if he kills Bixie, I'll summon Jiao too. I got the two revival cards right here, ready to go. Oh, okay. That's fine. Hmm. 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 I mean, I can go Mass Chameleon, Mass Chameleon, summon Sawani and make a Baxia, and Baxia bounce that, but is it really necessary? You know, I'm gonna wait to, I'm gonna wait to my opponent to respond before I push. You know, if it's another one of these, I'll, I might cast it. I might get rid of it, because clearly, you know, just by the way that he played his turn last turn, he, he didn't have any response, you know? It's clearly he's playing Monarchs, but does he have the plays, you know, to tribute? Doesn't seem like it so far, so. You 
know, I'm sitting okay right now. You know, monarchs are a tough cookie for me. They've always been a kind of tough cookie. You know? You know? I may have given away my deck by summoning Sawani, but you gave away your deck by summoning that first monarch. I'm assuming that you're running Mars. You could be running something totally different, you know? <sighs> I think the most worrying thing is maybe him finding some way to get a monster to tribute and tribute, tributing for uh, Vanity's Fiend. That, that might be it. <laughs> that that might be it. I might have to pick up my cards and scoop it up and move on to the next door if he summons a Vanity's Fiend. All right. Mm. It might be best. A normal summon. Okay. Really best. Thank you for giving me Jiaotu deck. I was thinking about taking it slow, but you know what? If you're going to give me all the pieces to the puzzle, then fine. We'll go ahead and do this. And we'll spin those two cards back, which is clearly something that he wants to keep. So, money. Effect. Put those two back to your deck. Shuffle them up. You've clearly set this because you want to do something with it, but now since I'm unaffected by trap, unless it's a solemn warning. If it's a solemn warning, you got me. But if it's not, alright. I was strategizing and uh, planning and trying to. Who has train deck? Help me. Run, run uh, the freaking Machina. You know, I was looking at a, a, a really. When I, when I was dueling with trains and working on a train deck, I was really looking at a, a really unupdated version of decks at top, you know. So you gave me a link to the website, but it was just for, you know, I think I looked like, like that week or that too, but I never looked at the more recent deck, because now when I looked at the more recent deck um, in OCG, they are running the machines with the trains. They're only running, like, I think two fortresses and two gear frames, but, you know, hey, they're running it, so, you know, they can't be like, oh, well, you know, they're not doing the deck right. I, I mean, I personally, in trains, I personally love the machine. It's like, you know, they're, they're hands down just putting in that work, so. Anyway, this hand's pretty good. Was it Shadol's? No, it's Klee's. Klee's are the ones that play the Night Beams. No, it's Burning Abyss. Oh, that's annoying. I'm not going to do that. No, thank you. I'm already using Burning Abyss in Daily Duels. I don't want to duel it on here, too. It seems kind of redundant. So I heard a blind spacing, but blind beaming? I mean, I guess in this format's not terrible. But please, please run the night beam. I don't know why Bunny Abyss run the night beam. You know, you shouldn't really be afraid of back row. You, you float so well that, you know, they can hit you with particular back rows, but you'll still be okay. You know, the particular back rows that can kind of mess you up are limited unless you're going for an attack with deep prison, so... No, that's not terrible. Um, please, I, I get, you know, you know, blind spacing, you know. Well, not even blind spacing, but, you know, uh, spacing in general. You know, they might want to go ahead and throw the night beam at your MST, you know. This guy says wrong deck. What deck you're possibly using? Because you know, lately it's been like, oh, wrong deck. I'm using Evil Swarms. Like, and I'm just like, oh, I gotta quit. <laughs> yeah, you know? there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to beat you. <laughs> oh, it's Mermels. I had double Mermels yesterday. Well, there's Dragoons. No surprise there. And it said, this is a number generator. So, yeah, you know, despite Dragoons being at one. Chances of someone getting it are still pretty high. Uh, I'm not sure if I can win this duel. Uh, I'll find out. I'll try it. I'll try it. I mean, we just dueled Mermels yesterday, but that was a bad Mermel player, so hopefully this guy's actually pretty good. Alright, well, that was uh, Teeth Effect, so you still need to get Dragoon's Effect, which is just searching for a Sea Serpent. So, Megalo, Marksman. Marksman or is infantry? One of them is a sea serpent. Or are they both sea serpents? Marksman. Alright. That's probably in this here. Wow, all the GL2s. That's nice. Can't really do anything with them though. I literally drew all three Giatus. Like, come on. 
Come on, Doc. If you want me to duel against, you want me to duel against Marmels, you gotta cooperate with me a little bit better because right now I'm not looking too hot. Another TS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I am not having a good time right now, especially since this guy gets multiple teases. So far, he's opened up really well, which is not good for me, because I opened up like shit. Might have to try to float it up. It's going to be kind of difficult for me to push. Or do any pushes if I'm not getting cards that allow me to push right now. So this duel is not looking too hot. I'm actually looking nice and cold. Nice and cool like ice water. Which is not good for me, is it? You know, Tius makes this deck. You know? They hate Gund and they're like, oh, Gund was the right choice. Because, you know, the deck didn't top anymore. The deck just, you know, got, a, got outpaced. You know, it's not like Mermels are bad. You know, so you just decide like, you know what, Mermos aren't doing anything, let's go ahead and put Gun back up to three, and it's just like, wow, Mermos are still really fucking good. Like, this is the card you should have hit, Tius. Tius was the correct hit. Look, I can't take a Draco sack. Mm -hmm. So he's literally just wrecked my back row. Yep. Too bad I never got any monsters in the grave. It's completely shut me down back row wise. Hmm. Where's Bixie? Fucking Bixie do though. Absolutely nothing. <sighs> well, this duel is looking terrible. Completely and utterly terrible. It's just literally me setting cards. Yep, definitely down on resources. Not drawing what I need to draw. All my back row completely destroyed, even though it wasn't back row, but all my revival cards. Definitely needed those. He just fucking picked them off one piece at a time. <sighs> well, at least he can't destroy any more of my freaking shit. I have to summon something with zero. No. It has to be something with zero defense, right? Is that one for me? Oh, no, an attack position. Attack position, attack position. Ah, I guess I'll go ahead and summon you. Shit, it has to be an attack position. I don't mind it being not. Hmm. Oh, I got everybody there. Creation. Alright, that's not that bad. Alright. Then going into just a nice, nice, beautiful Sawani. I mean, Sawani Baxia might be best. Yep, some. Okay. So the problem is he still has all the cards in his hand. That's probably his fierce face down, so as soon as I go into freaking, uh, 
uh, swung me. But at least he can't summon anything stronger than me. Like, if he decides to summon lead, at least I'm stronger than lead. Summon. Sink. Eight. Go ahead and go right into my beautiful backs here. Fact one, two, three. So go ahead and go chain sphere, summon Lin, Lin, summon whoever, doesn't matter. You wanna turn to back those three cards. One, two, three. Yes. Mm-hmm. Gender this year. Oh, shocked. So Linda's destroyed. What are you going to summon with Lind? That's the question. Maybe uh, Pike, Pike Piss, something in your hand to go ahead and pop my back. See that right now on my turn? Yep. Saw it coming. Mm -hmm. So you got that infantry? Yep, there it is. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and admit defeat because I'm out of resources. And uh, we're gonna get one more duel in. Red is plays like a book, but I couldn't do anything about them because my deck is too slow. You know? That's what you get for assuming that, you know, the newer the deck, the better, because that's clearly not the case. Yang Zing is a little bit too slow to be going against Mermels. Mermels are a lot stronger than Yang Zing. Yeah, I don't like this hand either. It's playable though, at least. Okay. Well, this is going to be a quick one, hopefully. Yeah. I know you get a laugh out of that card, because it's like, Oh, my eyes, you know, she's so ugly, and she's showing some boobage. Like, no, the card's bad. Like, a thousand life points for a neg one, you know. But I guess, you know. You can soul charge, and you can pay a thousand life points to get a po to get another monster summon. What am I even talking about? <gasps> oh, excuse me. Is that a monster? Dark hole. Effect. Actually, dark hole should have went first. Alright, fine. If you don't want to duel me, and I'm not even using a freaking competitive ass deck, then fine. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I'll get it. <laughs> I'm done. I got another shit to record. Alright, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I... Like I said, going against a good moral player, because I dueled against a bad moral player yesterday, and, you know, e bucks used one, but that guy was actually pretty decent, so... I really can't say, you know... Oh, yeah, you bell can always beat Mermels. Just... You know, that's that freaking he opened up pretty well. I'm familiar with that, you know. He undoubtedly opened up with, you know, two TSs and a and Dragoon. That's a pretty open good opening hand, you know. That's just getting resources back with ease, so, you know. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, um that's not how you spell synchro. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Super Vice Bell. Alright guys, thanks for watching.